Hi, my name is Nicola Privato. In this presentation, I'll introduce Sketching Sonic Trajectories, a software tool for sound specialization that integrates the design capabilities of Yannix Graphics Sequencer with the flexibility offered by ICS, the Ambisonics equivalent panner. SST first iteration was conceived by Julian Scordato and implemented at the Conservatory of Cuneo. The current version has been developed at the Department of New Technologies and Musical Languages of the Conservatory of Padua. With SST we intend to offer a software that is free, Windows and Mac compatible, easy to use in that even the unexperienced user can perform complex multi-channel specialization without getting entangled in software technicalities. Potentially independent from multi-track sequencers, capable of adapting to different performative scenarios thanks to the uncoupling of the specialization project from the speaker configuration granted by Ambisonics. Powerful in terms of design and visualization options thanks to Yannick's inherent polytemporal and multiformal sequencing capabilities. Flexible, allowing the user to approach the specialization design through a number of different strategies. SST is an application developed in Max MSP. It includes a graphical user interface for score and audio management, a series of tools for interfacing with Yannix, and a signal processing stage for audio routing, playback, and specialization. From the SST main window, it is possible to access the Graphic Score Manager, which is the main tool for score design. Specialization preferences allows the adjustment of Ambisonics directivity and amplitude attenuation pattern. Beside the programmable score behaviors, this new SST iteration incorporates improved real-time interaction capabilities. Control panel allows to adjust the amplitude of each sound source and to control the playback of audio files. It is synchronized with Yannix Transport and it can be accessed from iPad through Mira app in order for the user to flexibly operate the system from anywhere inside the performative space. From the iPad, the user can also access the Source Location tab, controlling in real time the position of up to four selectable sound sources. Finally, SST offers an output monitor for the visual feedback of channel levels during score playback. And of course, access to audio settings for driver selection and input and output mapping. From the Graphic Score Manager, the user can set the speakers as numbers and positions. Once inserted into the score, the speakers can be further displayed from the sequencer and adapted to the characteristics of the performative area. Once the speakers as setup is defined, it is possible to initialize and displace up to 16 sound sources. Each sound source corresponds to one ambisonics input, representing the position in space of the audio inputs it is paired with. With each sound source, a track can be generated in the lower area of the Yannick score. As in common sequencers, tracks provide additional timelines, supporting the insertion of events affecting the specific source only. From the Graphic Score Manager, the user can also access a library of 2D and 3D trajectories that represent a series of possible sound source paths. The proposed templates rely on basic parametric equations that can be easily manipulated in Yannix to the user's needs. Additionally, one can draw his own trajectories directly from the graphic sequencer. The coupling between a trajectory and a sound source is performed by cursors. The user assigns the ID of one curve and one sound source to a cursor, whose behavior can be programmed directly from the score manager and eventually fine-tuned from Yannix. The paired trigger will follow the cursor's position from then on. SST offers two ready-to-use audio inputs a white noise generator and a polyphonic sawtooth oscillator. Available on channel 1, the noise generator can be used for speaker tests. 
Each trigger paired with an active audio source changes in color during playback in order to display the amplitude level in any given moment. The polyphonic oscillator pairs a single tone of the major scale with one sound source, so that the user can focus on specialization design and postpone the assignment of specific audio content. Other available inputs are the ADC for the connection of external audio devices such as acoustic instruments as well as other software and BSTs, and the integrated audio player for the reproduction of audio files assigned to each sound source. The activation of a file's playback with a desired gain level can be set in the score at any time along a source's track. We extensively used SST in the artistic and technological scenario of Living Lab Music, a showcase combining contribution from artists and researchers from the Department of New Technologies and Musical Languages of the Conservatory of Padua and beyond. Living Lab Music 8 took place at the Pase platform in Venice, which provided a 30-channel speaker system whose near-hemispherical arrangement was particularly suitable for advanced spatialization. ICST and Bisonic's equivalent panning algorithm presented a satisfactory response after some fine-tuning of order and level attenuation parameters. A compromise was needed between the angular precision given by the Ambisonic's order increase and the uniformity of the audio level in all points of space, which instead required a wider polar pattern. Tests allowed us to identify a few additions and bug fixes that deserve to be addressed in the future, such as a reverb implementation for improved distance simulation, the advanced management of Ambisonic's directivity using independent parameters for each sound source, the resolution of issues pertaining generation of objects on SST, which at times are conflating with Yannick's logic, an improved trajectory library, the inclusion in the score of a further representation of cursor-related events at the track level. Thank you for watching.